A four alarm fire that destroyed two homes in Fresno's Tower District this morning is under investigation. As CBS 47's Natalie Vera reports, a team of volunteers was at the scene to help fire crews. Flames engulfed two Tower District homes as Fresno Fire battled to keep them from spreading. At one point, we had four alarms here, 45 firefighters, so we had well over half of the city firefighters uh, on scene of this fire. Both homes were a total loss, and one firefighter was injured Thursday morning. Incidents like this that require a hands from the department's community emergency response team or CERT. We go on, on extended incident fires, particularly those that are over 80 degrees. The group of volunteers have two priorities watching out for firefighters in the heat by providing cooling stations. The intent of their being here is to lower their heart rate and lower their temperature. And they also help in preventing cancer and exposure to toxins while in the field. We make sure that they are what's called gross decontaminated, so they get wiped down uh, before they come into the, the cooling area, and then they have a period of rest and hydration. The program was founded in 2003. Five years later, CERT received a donated ambulance, and that's when they started assisting Fresno Fire at incidents. Since our program was founded, we've been deployed with the fire department 178 times. Volunteers are on call and ready to come out at any hour of the day. And the CERT coordinator says it's a privilege to serve alongside these firefighters. I have the most outstanding team of volunteers. We have extraordinary support from Fresno Fire. I would say we're one of the busiest uh, rehab teams in the United States. In Fresno, Natalie Vera, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.